Hi, I'm Najeri and I survived homeschool. I am a mom of two, 126 and 112, almost 13. And I need to say that no children were harmed in the making of surviving homeschool. I think that what made it really work well for me was having experience being in the classroom, working um, in middle school education for a very long time, really did make it go well. Also having raised one to adulthood really helped me out also. Um, I made it. But one thing, you know, the Constitution does declare separation of church and state, but the Constitution says nothing about separation of school and home. Hmm. So that was really tricky. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but it went really well. Um, I fell down the stairs at the beginning of our quarantine. So my 12-year-old really became a great cook. We spent a lot of time talking about what schools aren't teaching. So I love to cook, I love to bake, and my girls are the same way. So my 12 year olds figured out how to do all sorts of things on, on the air fryer, on the George Foreman grill, she's even helping me bake. We wouldn't have had that much time to do those things under normal circumstances. So I'm really super excited now to see how well she adjusts to being able to cook some things on her own. I think it's a really good experience. I think that when we look at anything that's chaotic, when we can find the, the bright spots, find those things that are positive, it helps us out. We have absolutely no idea what next school year is going to look like. And we were thrown into this. It isn't a traditional homeschool environment, but I think that helping out, you know, your friends and family who have questions is a really good thing. And so if and when it happens again, if we end up having to shelter in place, we'll all be even more prepared. And happy summer, everyone. We survived homeschool.